What's going on? I'm Matt, this is Super Apartment Friends, and fate has decided that in the afternoon I cannot stream more for than like an hour at a time without something going fucking bonkers. And so today, it was the game crashing. These are cursed? My afternoon streams are cursed, I guess? I don't know. Uh, it's real weird. I joked that maybe my TV would melt, or or maybe I'd be attacked by wild dogs, and uh, PS4 had different ideas. Hey, Rikyo, thanks for coming back. Uh, yeah, I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling Jurassic World uh, Part Two wasn't gonna be your cup of tea, but I was curious. I was curious to see specifically what it was about the second trailer that that got your goat. So I gotta be honest. At the risk of sounding like a very dumb person, I think it looks fine. <laughs> In my heart of hearts, I've always known you were a legend. So I wonder what it saved, or what it didn't save. No, it didn't save me do. Oh no. No, yeah, it didn't save me doing that. Great. Great. Thank you, PS4. Excellent work. You're really doing it. At least it saved me doing that other mission. When apparently the Velociraptor and Chris Pratt are a good cop, bad cop duo. I mean, that, they kind of established that in the in Jurassic World, right? That they're they're pals of some variety. Let's <sighs> get water again. I guess I'll do that again since I know how it goes. And I guarantee, I will say this, I guarantee you that, um, Jeff Goldblum, if the threat of Lord Scrotus I, I promise you Jeff Goldblum is only in one scene. Us. There's no way he does anything beyond whatever that quote from scene is. Like, Blue is triggering explosives and, like, sweeping officers and shit, yeah. Oh, is she really? I thought that was the joke example. Oh, that sounds kind of amazing. I don't know. I mean, that's a, I mean, that kind of sounds like, uh... Um, I mean, that almost seems like a throwback to the original Jurassic Park 4 concept, which was going to be a team of crime-fighting human-dinosaur hybrids. And ever since I heard that, I've always been kind of hoping for that. So, I mean, like, yeah, let's get, let's get blue a pair of aviators and a, and a nice big, uh, nice big mustache. Let's get, let's get, uh, Alan Grant wanting, wa <laughs> wanting their badge and gun. Because they're, they're out of control. The mayor's up his ass. I just want Dino Cop, okay? I love Robocop. Wolf Cop was a lot of fun. Samurai Cop is great. Just give me Dino Cop. Please, world. Also, they thoroughly raped the Jurassic Park theme by replacing the strings with Inception as Brong. Well, yeah, well, they also, they've also been doing this thing where they take the Jurassic Park theme and just make it only screamy violins. Which I, it, I was puzzled by. Which is like, wee, wee, wee. And it's like, it's kind of grating. I think, I think that was a miscalc also. Short for miscalculation. My amazing, my amazing slang for one. You know how the kids are always needing to abbreviate the word miscalculation. Yeah, the, the, the screamy strings I don't love. I've always been okay with the Inception brong, which I know is uh, uh, definitely an unpopular opinion. Um, yeah. 
No, yeah, I'm not saying it looks... I'm not saying it's good. Again, it's kind of... It's basically where I landed with the original Jurassic World. I'm not expecting, like, a, a classy, thoughtful science fiction film. I'm, I'm expecting the Fast and the Furious with dinosaurs, and I like the Fast and the Furious with dinosaurs, so I'm okay. Miss Calc. Classic Miss Calc, baby! You got it. Oh, shit. How did I do this before? There was a ladder somewhere. I gotta retrace my steps because afternoon streams are cursed. Ah, oh, here we go. Doy. Okay, I walked right past it. Bum rush this sniper. Woo! Woo hoo! Kyo! You did! <laughs> Fuck you, dude! God, that is stupidly satisfying. Oh, he's still alive. Come and die now. Not alive now, bitch. I have a quadruple barrel shotgun, FYI. That is the weapon I just fired at him because this game understands my soul <laughs> in a weird way. Matthew, we know this is what you've always wanted. Thank you, game. Because the closest we've got to quadruple barrel is, um, there was like an Australian zombie movie from the mid-aughts called, like, I think it was just called Undead. And, uh, oh, no, 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 actually, scratch that. Undead, the, the box art for it, is a person in a gas mask with a triple barrel shotgun. And for most of the movie, one of the characters has a triple barrel shotgun, but then the epilogue is that they up they upgraded to quadruple barrel and it's like wow thank you so undead actually did it first but still it's great to see it again can't wait for the third installment jurassic galaxy revengeance hey man I don't don't hate that sounds awesome <laughs> if it's man if it's dino cop in in space yeah yeah you you got my number movie you figured me out want a hard hard drinking loose cannon cop that is a dinosaur named like hernandez or something you're out of line hernandez <laughs> This cowboy shit ain't, ain't gonna fly, Hernandez. Ah, <laughs> oh, freak. Okay. I just navigated this place, and I immediately forgot everything. Because I thought I was done here. No, there was a... There was a trap door I dropped down to fight some creeps. We gotta find that. Then here. Oh, maybe it's over this way. This away. Through here. Yeah, boom, there it is. Now we're talking. Where are you dickheads at? There we go. Now it's my turn! Now it's my turn! To die. Yeah. Correct, friend. I kind of feel like a bastard for not getting a lot of modern Hollywood, like Jurassic World, Proxical Island, the new Star Treks, while they have some good things about... Well, only the third new Star Trek was any good. The first two were bad. I mean, and I'm not, I'm not saying Skull Island was perfect, because the, the primary human leads were a waste of time. 
They should have. They should have either combined Hiddleston and Brie Larson into one character, or got rid of one of them, or something. Because they're just they're like filler characters. The real the real human leads of that movie are John C. Riley and Samuel L. Jackson. And I think the movie knows that because it, it does just bail on it does just bail on the other two about halfway through the movie. Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek yeah, I mean the most recent one is definitely um But yeah, the, the most recent the most recent Star Trek movie is kind of like a mixed bag. It'll depend on who you ask about that one. There are plenty of Star Trek fans, plenty of Star Trek fans that think it's just as bad as the uh, the two JJ ones, and like understandably so. Wow. I think I really liked uh, that third one because I love the premise of strapping, 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 trapping Star Trek people in like a situation where they have to work together and build something. I think that's a great premise for a Star Trek story. I actually hadn't made the Guardians of the Galaxy connection with with that Star Trek. But yeah, with the the importance of 20th century pop music, that is actually a really interesting point. But I will say that uh, that does kind of stem from the first JJ movie, where they inexplicably had Baby Kurt listening to Beastie Boys, and then that makes. That just makes me think. Did uh, did that first JJ track indirectly inspire Guardians of the Galaxy? It just depends on which one came first, I guess. I think I'm pretty far from finishing the campaign because I've just been I've been in love with the side quests. Um, I'm not sure though. I'm actually, but t but t today I'm kind of dedicating myself to sort of kind of tackling the main story, just because um, what I like about the main story is that it doesn't just ad advance that; it also gives you access to some of the cooler upgrades for. Max and the car, and I definitely want to upgrade both of those. <laughs> God of boy, yeah. That one, that I've, I, uh, I kind of want to check out the new God of War. It seems like it's grown up a lot, and without without sacrificing the brutal brawler gameplay. Which I was I was surprised to hear. I I, I, w I was surprised they were making another God of War at all. And then I just kind of figured it'd be more of the same. I'm glad it's not though. I uh. Yeah, no, I've I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about it, and it's it which is cool. I um I really wanted I wanted to like God of War back when it first came out because I like Greek mythology and I'm like oh neat. A Greek mythology game and then I played it and he just like skull fucks everybody and it made me sad and I'm like oh <laughs> never mind I guess it, I guess this isn't for me the the but the the the, the brawler gameplay can be a lot of fun <sighs> work for world 
Oh. My game of the year. Oh wow. So far, right. What else is coming out this year? I'm kind of on a. I, I need to be on a game buying hiatus for a while still. But maybe a little later. The old games are kind of a mess. They aren't even that satisfying to play after a while. But the new one was, like, consistently engaging. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's what happened. I, I played the first one a few times, and then I would get to a point where I got stuck. And then also I just didn't care anymore. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, Jurassic World. Of, oh, that's going to be sweet. I am fucking psyched about that. That might be, if, if I can only buy one more game, like for the next six or eight months, which I think is probably the case. Um, but if, if that's the case, it's probably gotta be the Jurassic World theme park sim, man. I am gonna wait for reviews just in case, but I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I wonder if that'll be weird to play on a console controller versus on the crust of the land on, like uh, you on and like a me and, and mouse. Then there are those who dwell beneath. They worship. They really fucked up the look of like one dinosaur, but other than that, that game is a wet dream. Is it out already? <laughs> it looks pretty good, yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Darkness to thine own I self be true. Of you. Oh, fuck. Not until June 10th. Okay. Gotcha. What dinosaur did they fuck up? Which one they mangle? Special dinosaur, you fucker. I want a special dinosaur. Ah, we shit. Jim is nasty boys. They fucked up Dinonychus because in real life it pretty much just looks like the JP Velociraptor. So what, did they make it, did they make it like the movie version, or did they make it like the real one? What's the fuck? Ow! Oh shit! Max can survive a lot. <laughs> it all right so instead of taking into account different skull structure size etc they just gave it a big fucking uh crest on its head <laughs> womp womp so it's like a dilophosaurus still a scaly boy which is okay i was expecting that but they made an aesthetically horrible change to its anatomy right yeah that's not ideal. It'd be cool if they gave the uh, the option for feathery boys. Like, right? Wouldn't that be sweet if you had some kind of level of control over the, oh, uh, the ground killers abound. Uh, over like the genetic labs? Like you could custom grow your own dinosaurs? They should do that. A 
and then give you the option to grow, you know, give you the option to grow hybrids and stuff. It shocks me because they actually took into account scientific discovery for some of the new additions, but for Dinonychus, they kind of half-assed it. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, I want to be able to grow, like, a Steguanodon. But no, fuck that. Let's give it some shark DNA instead. Yeah, rock and roll, baby. You get to custom write your own uh, Mr. DNA cartoon. Dinosaurs. That's what I want. As far as I know, you can only create Indominus and color variant hybrids. Ah. Any chance of like woolly mammoths and saber tooth tigers and stuff? Because that'd be sweet too. Oh, that's yeah, that would have been perfect for the tutorial. Shit. Or if Mr. DNA, yeah, Mr. DNA should be your Clippy, your little guy who uh, who helps you out. God, that'd be so sick. Having Ian Malcolm as a voiceover for you, that's amazing. Is it, is it, uh, Jeffy Golds? Because that's fucking cool. If so. Reflex! Scope! Long shot! Not that good. Not that good. Bye! Nothing that isn't a dinosaur, not even Tyrannodon, but Mosasaur. Jesus. Yet, are they gonna add stuff later? Ooh, what do we got here? What is this? What's he eating? Huh. It's a mystery. It's a mystery meat. Maybe the lizard. Lips. Oh yeah, this is that really swank sniper that I took out before. I guess it erased me doing that. It's gonna be fucked up when uh, when one of the DLC lets you uh, grow cavemen. Or maybe that maybe that flock of condors Hammond was so obsessed with. Condors. Condors. That's the worst, the worst John Hammond impression anyone's ever done. You're welcome. Who is this guy? God, get a life, dude! There, was it worth it? Was it worth it, you little dick? Look, you're stuck on rock, you idiot. Go. Worth it, huh? Good job, buddy. Yeah. You're a Did you do anything fun for uh, for May the 4th or Cinco de Mayo or Free Comic Book Day? Did we talk about this already? I don't remember. Humor me. Oh yeah, I definitely talked to this dude already. Whatever. Do what it 
Here's a bit of free advice, stranger. If you ever find yourself against Pig and Sticker, local bad boy and all around bunghole, I'd ship the shit out of them. Just saying. Shiv the shit out of him. Crikey. Throw another shrimp on the bobby. I can feel it in my gut robes. My carburetor crudding up with tension. Something bad is out there. That's some gross phrases. Jump bucket. Oh, oh brother, look at all this. Look at all this accoutrement. Nasty little fingers. Woo, shit. Spicy. I'm gonna leave them alone for a minute. They can calm down. fighting with the cars. Oh, that didn't work. Chum bucket, how's the car? Come on, Chummer. Ooh, could you guys even hear me? My thing was like way out here. Oops. Oops. Alright. Maybe not. Give me that, come on. Oh shit, that didn't do it. At all. Wow, okay, I guess that just doesn't work. Ugh. But this will work. Nope. You didn't aim at it. Chummers, what are you doing, my dude? Right. Oh. The cursor's up there! What is he doing? Ugh, fine. Fine, I'll do it myself. There we go. Oh shit, I am dying. Doing real bad. My ass got sniped. Maybe I can take this guy out. He's pushing my luck. I'm gonna go for it. There we go. 
Hey, no worries, man. Glad you're back. <laughs> and glad we saw this guy tumble to his doom like a jabron. Like a straight up jabron zone. I need to gulp down some Wawa stat. Man, I'm gonna Dude, this is a this is a five skull camp. I'm going to get water again just after I take down the defenses. This is some heavy shit. Maybe I'm No, I can't I can't be close to the end because I haven't even gotten to Gastown yet. I assume Gastown's the final level of the game. But we shall see. See what else is here. I think there's at least one other sniper. One shit the Yeah, there he is. This old so and so. What did I latch onto there? Weird. Five skull camp, the newest Skrillex album, yeah. Good old skill Rex. That very skilled Tyrannosaurus Rex. Dad jokes. That's a joke your dad would make. Alright. Alright. Sniper. No. Sniping. And while we're here, goodbye. Oh, look at that. No more perimeter defenses. How about that? Oh, oh, here it comes. <laughs> Shut up about the mighty duster. Chum bucket, you're such a spaz. Here comes the mighty duster! It's like a dust, it's like a dirt, little dirt devil. Little dust devil that is very easy to avoid, and he acts like it's the end of the world. Alright. Ooh, I'm gonna take a little hot air balloon ride. Thank God for fast travel. That is one of the best inventions video games ever came up with. Or, it, in open world games. I guess like Super Mario World kind of has fast travel. You just pick where you go. Why'd they give him a name ripped straight out of Spongebob? I mean, they, maybe they're Spongebob fans. I mean, he's a gnarly looking dude. At least they didn't name him Plankton or Squidward, right? <laughs> Would have been a little on the nose. Yeah! 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 Oh shit! Oh, what are we doing? Oops. Oh, this takes me to this. There's a water camp right here. Oh, that's where I was going. The fast way. Or not? What did I have? Oh, I had that one marked out. Whatever. Isn't this the one I've done before? Oh, brother. Did it not? I guess it didn't save me doing this. <laughs> this is the third time I've done this fucking place. Heavens to Betsy. How many times will I have to do this place? Boom, love that. Let's see old Maximilian doing some straight up wrestle moves. Love those crunches. Good, good, good crunches. Got scrap for dudes. Oh, I guess it did. It did save me doing this, but the the place just repopulated with bad dudes after a while. Interesting.
Though it still shows up as a little grabby claw. I guess I missed one piece of scrap somewhere. And I don't care. I'm not gonna track it down. I do not give a shit about one unit of scrap. Not when I have almost 2G in scrapper dappers. Who needs it? <laughs> Such poignant last words. Yeah. Should've got that scrap. Should've got that scrap, man. Give me your wawa. Like a 10 day camel. That was my nickname in high school. Just kidding, no it wasn't. I didn't have a nickname in high school. Or now. People just call me Matt. <laughs> what a fucked up concept. No, no, no. I don't like this place. Relax, chum bucket. It's just a shambling ruin full of psychos. I guess that. Yeah, that'll get us a little closer. I'm excited to take down this camp. I think. I think I'll be able to do it. I don't know. Maybe not. I've taken down four skull camps without too much trouble. But something about maximum skulls is a little, a little spookier. A little nervous. We will see. We shall see, shan't we? I mean, that top dogfight might be nasty. Your nickname was Fairy. Oh boy. In like a fun way or a mean way? God, that is that is the fucking high school and middle school list. If it's an insult, that is the high school and middle school list insult. That just that immediately time time warps my brain back to seventh grade. Alright. Oh yeah, we took down all the defenses. They did say there's a secret exit to the right or a secret oh yeah, there it is. Yeah, fuck it, let's just do that. It's there. Uh, just just go. I would actually appreciate some time alone. <laughs> with, uh... It does kind the game does kind of imply that maybe Chum Bucket has sex with the car. And that is, you know, not ideal. Oh boy. Oh boy, look at all these nasty boys. Bunch of little stinkers all over the place. Bunch of dang jerks. Oh yeah, let me use my super punching. <laughs> God, Fury Mode is sick as shit. Hey kids, do you like violence? You're done! It's over! Oops! Ah, I got too cocky. I should have parried. Well, I've never heard anyone called fairy in a positive light. I was just being hopeful, I guess. <laughs> Does this car really run on oil? Oh dear. Well, you know, when it's one of those biofuel cars. Wink. Stink. Oh, look at this. Need an explosione for that boy. And look at what we have here. Don't mind if I do. Thank you, Ally Camps. For your scramps. Boodoosh. Let me in, door. Door, Mad Max's ultimate enemy. Hey, what's up, idiots? I gotta save my shivs for the boss fight. They told me that straight up. I'm sad these dudes, uh, they never, they never, uh, they never immediately huff silver, 
silver spray paint like they do in Fury Road. I love that. Oh man, it might be time to rewatch that thing. Holy shit! Oh, there's a war crier. Gotta find him and see if we can take him out. There he is. There we go. Fuck ya. Ooh, look at that perfect parry, baby. Perfecto. Uh oh. Uh oh. This nasty boy's got all kinds of accoutrement. So does this guy. These boys brought all their sweet accessories. <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, there's so many. There's so many nasty boys. I gotta get my rage mode going again. Shit. I'm still doing okay health wise. <laughs> yeah, and those dudes with the crazy weapons, you can you can trick them into swinging big and hurting their own dudes, which is nice. Oh, oh. This is, this is many, many dudes. Fuck, I'm out of ammo. Yeah, I'm, I'm hurting. If I can drink some water real quick. Fuck. Or it might not matter. Shit! Man, I put a dent in them. There was a billion of those fuckers. Damn it, there it is. Fuck. Ah. All right, let's see where they let's see where they let me pick up. Wow. Wow. That was a lot of bad boys. God, if I didn't kill their their war crier, the guy up on the the crane playing the drums, if I didn't kill them, they would have got a buff too. So they would have been even stronger. Yeesh. Yeesh. This load time kind of feels like punishment. All right, uh, all right, take it from the top. <sighs> got a couple bullets. Got a lot of water. I just need to be. I need to not be greedy with my combos. That's a lot of times what gets me in trouble. I need to pick off as many dudes with shotgun shells as possible early on, I think. And I should take one of those with me and just throw a gas can at him. Oh, and that is, that is the path through the fortress. Interesting. Oh, or maybe not. Let's see what's up here. I did not check this out before. I gotta get that. Wow, maybe a waste of a shell, but I don't care. I like, I like getting that stuff. Get my scrappy dues. Yeah, let's take this with. Give me my, give me some gas. I've got gas. It's really creepy when you can you can hear you can hear all these dudes hooting and hollering in the next uh, in the next area. Uh, 
I guess it saved me clearing out this room. I wonder if it will save the progress I made in that last room. That seems like wishful thinking, but we'll see. We shall see. Oh, shit. <laughs> I like that I can just clobber him with that. What a creep! He came out from under that grate like a ghoul. I think these guys are all pretty ghoulish, I guess. Alright, so... Holy shit. Oh god, off to a bad start. Oh, and the fucking guy beefed them up. Okay, what's well, gonna be the end of the world if I don't murder that dude? Oh shit. Can I do this quick enough? Nope. Fuck. Well, this is this is not gonna work. This is I just pro uh, yeah. Nope. <laughs> Why do I even try? Remember, don't forget to parry, Matthew. It looks like you don't parry ever. Yeah, I'm trying to do something else, game. Shut up. Oh my god. Alright. Run away, run away. The end of the world did already happen, that's true. I stand a little bit of a chance, okay? There we go. Now we got murder mode going. Maybe I have a chance. Maybe. Get my perfect parry back. Actually, now that I have the group broken up a little bit, that might save my ass. Shit. Ah, fuck. Oh, good. My TV wants to know if I want to enjoy something. Perfect timing, TV. Thanks. There's a big... Bl you, you guys can't see it. There's a big block saying like, Do you want to switch to your other channel? Right now? Ah, perfect. Did it. We did it, guys. Okay. Well, I still stand by my theory of throwing in a gas can, shooting down the war crier, and then boogieing the fuck out of there. Ooh, there's a lot of gas cans. I could... I could lead them into that other room with another gas can. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, another long, long load time. You got the bad ending. Yay. Yeah. I get the bad ending a lot. All right. All right. Be water around here somewhere. Max, you got a full canteen of water. What are you talking about, my dude? There's gotta be water around here somewhere. You're fine. For now. When you have to fight 700 dudes at once, it'll be a little less fine. But, you know, still okay. There's really not much left for me to upgrade with Max, so I think this does just boil down to uh, the old G-I-T, G-U-D, Geet Good. Yeah. Yeah, all my armor is maxed out. I guess I need to start looking into these, these combat skills that I don't use. And I do have a shit ton of money. I guess, yeah, if this, if this, if I make no progress with this, I'll start investigating these.
Wait, six ninety nine. What? I don't understand. Thank you, my 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 friend. I don't follow. Yeah. Give me this gaze. Give me this gaze. I love, I love that you can throw this at these dudes. And it doesn't like hurt them a lot, but it does throw them off balance. There we go. You did. Give me this gaze. Yo, you said fighting 700 people would be impossible at 699. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Rick. Yo, that's the power of positive thinking, my dude. That is the power of positively getting destroyed by this fucker. Immediately. And then forgetting what my dodge button is. There we go. Fuck you, sir. Alright. Follow me, dickheads. Oh, not follow me there, though. <laughs> run away, run away. <laughs> oh, he, he laughed right back. He mirrored my laugh. Shit. Wow. They have so much armor, they're pretty good against even my fucking shotgun shells. Oh. But not my rage. Fuck. Fuck. I'm gonna have to burn off shivs on these guys. I don't want to. Fuck, how do you even kill these dudes? That. All right, all right. We made some progress. Burned, <laughs> used all my shivs and all my bullets, which means I'll be in bad shape later, but I think I cleared out this room. And even have, and, and I'm not at the bottom of the barrel health-wise, so that's kind of sweet. Yeah, we'll just drink up all my water. Who gives a shit? Grab this thing. All right. Alrighty, I, I, I'm certain there's going to be some dudes left behind in here. Or not? Did I do it? Okay, okay. We got it. Hey, yikes. Sorry, buddy. You're right, Rick. You have 699's a breeze. Is this, is this the rest of the level, or is this just an alcove? Oh, boy. Yep. Crash on me again? Excellent work. Ah, dual shock disconnected. Sure. Perfect. <laughs> this is a professional stream. It's very good. All right. <laughs> so that's uh, that's fuck up number two on an afternoon stream. But hey, you know what? At least the game didn't crash. Fuck. I was so scared. I was so scared after clearing this room it was going to crash out on me again. Where's the gas tank? 
Top 10 technical disasters caught on tape. Yeah. Alright, alright. So... Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure the controls for the gas tank are somewhere in here. So I'm going to continue on. I'm going to sally forth, as it were. Sally Forth, that newspaper comic. Number seven, Super Department Friends Dual Shock Disconnection. Yeah, there's a travesty. Yeah, I guess I'm overreacting. It's just it's just funny how the afternoon streams are cursed. The the night streams seem to go seem to click along pretty smoothly. And then uh, these afternoon ones are like a weird clusterfuck. Oh, more wah-wah! Give me that wah-wah! I love all the junk on his, uh... his wrist guards and his gloves. His, his knuckle dusters. Yeah, fuck you, insignia! Ladder time. Here we go. Oh yeah. Taking care of business. TCB, baby. Righteous. Oh shit. Oh dear. Okay. I don't think I took any fall damage from that, but I certainly lost my weapon. Did I go out here already? I think I did. Oh, there's there's nothing for me here. Where's that ladder? Did I knock that ladder down? Yes. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, though. I need to jimmy this thing open. Remember when Hammer Time was like elite motif in really bad movies? <laughs> yes, I do. I do. I love it. Uh, remember... <laughs> Remember how involved MC Hammer was with, uh, was that the second Adams Family movie? Or was that the first? Remember when Adam, <laughs> or Adam? Remember when MC Hammer did an Adams Family song? It's great. It's a magical world we live in, Riccio. Remember when Digital Underground was in nothing but trouble? Including fucking Tupac? Remember when Tupac was in nothing but trouble? What the fuck? And Riccio, my dude, if you have not seen Nothing But Trouble, I'm going to heartily suggest you uh, you seek that out. Why was there a second film to begin with? I thought I thought the Adams Family movies were cute. I liked them. I actually think I think the second one is one of the rare solid comedy sequels. Also. It might be the best straight-up comedy sequel. Because, like, Back to the Future 2 doesn't count. Beverly Hills Cop doesn't... Or Beverly Hills Cop 2 doesn't count. Because those those are genres that glom on to another... Or those are examples that glom on to another genre to be good. Puff Daddy is Godzilla canon. Absolutely, my man. Yep. And that works for me. The one guy who likes rap and kaiju together. That was... I, you know... I, uh, I'll be honest, I was fucking psyched about that song back in 98. I listened to, uh, my fair share of rap metal in the late 90s, early aughts. Oh, yeah, Ricky, hang on, you don't get to shit on, you don't get to shit on the Addams Family movies if you've never seen them. They're, like, they're, they're just fun little morbid comedy movies. Nothing but trouble is a disaster, <laughs> though. <laughs> it's it, it's an amazing train wreck. Oh boy. I think they're kind of going easy on me after that fucking mosh pit they threw at me. So that's kind of nice. How sweet of them. Uh oh. They want me to go underground. Man, underground's always a fucking nightmare in this game. Is that it? This is just kind of an empty room with scrap in it? Weird. Weird. 
I do. I think I think that main mosh pit's going to be the main challenge, other than the boss fight at the end of this camp. So that's kind of cool. Oh, there's something up there. Did I miss it? I, did, I missed it. I gotta get that. Gotta get that. Gotta have my pops. How the fart did I miss that? Yeah, give me that. Give me that history relic. Piglet, if this makes it back, it's a freaking fluke. Frecken! I've never seen Frecken before. That's a new one. Uh, it's a freaking fluke, but I got to try. My only chance to let you know my feelings if I don't come back. I love you. I've loved you since the seventh grade. I adore you. I worship you. Censor all you want, you Secret Service assholes. I love you, Piglet. And if I make it back, I'll find a way to make it legal if you'll still have me. Robin. Huh. Interesting. There's so many ways to interpret that. Flecken. <laughs> Flecken? Yeah, Flecken's a new one for me, too. Alright, been there. Been there, done that. Remember that 90s catchphrase? I don't miss that one. At all. There's a lot of shit from the 90s I do not miss. That's me, but with my friends. Uh oh, that sounds that sounds dangerously close to the uh, hello meme that I think I only see on Tumblr. I don't think I've seen anybody else talk about hello or ooh woo, <laughs> which is funny. I'm I'm glad I follow Tumblr. It's funny and very weird. Oh, they are they are buttering me up for something bad. Maybe just the boss fight will be especially brutal. Yeah, there it is. Hello. Very good, Rikio. Yeah, I knew I knew you would know what I was talking about. Is this the way I came? God, I get s corridors and and catacombs like this just instantly confuse me. Unless I stumble through them a few times and then I get a feel for it. That's the way I came. Okay. Goo. Is that a? No, oh, it's a bone. For a minute, I thought it was like a little baby arm. Wow. Yeah, they haven't really thrown much at me in a while, which is making me more and more nervous. I feel like we're building up to something. Yep. All right. Bunch of fucking cavity creeps. Ugh, God. Luckily, these guys are horrifying, but they're pretty weak. Ugh, God. Ugh. God, they're such ghouls. They're like monsters. I've never played Evil Within, um, but I imagine, yeah, I imagine it's pretty close to this, because fucking yikes. Didn't Evil Within 1 get panned, and then everybody was still excited about Part 2? That, like, baffled me. I mean, I'm not saying it's impossible for, you know, a sequel to improve where the original failed, but it was just weird that... It kind of just seemed to be a whatever game, but people were still really excited about the next one. I like horror games. I'd try them both. I, uh, I wanted to try... What's it called? The, it's like a really creepy looking PC game. It's like Amnesia the Dark Descent or whatever. That looked insanely creepy. But I don't... I don't have a good enough rig to run it. Hey, the same thing happened with Destiny, and what do you know, they were just the same game, but slightly worse! My brother loves Destiny! And I know, like, I know, I know a couple other people who play it, and it's like... 
I'm like, hey man, you should play Destiny. It's like, nah, I'm okay. I feel bad though, because I want to play a game with him. I just don't care about Destiny. Again, team-based shooters. I'm not, I'm not into it. Unless it's unless it's something goofy like Team Fortress or Splatoon. I just said, hey guys, have you heard of this game called Skyrim? I like Skyrim. I know it's a meme now, but uh, when that shit first came out, that was nuts. Oh boy, here we go again. Here we go again. These lines will echo in your screams for ages. <laughs> You've come into my house now. He's got a war crier too? Shit. To me, you are we gotta take this dude out. Now style. God, he's got a whole slew of buttholes. I mean, Amnesia is like one of the most famous horror games. Oh, got you. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't realize it was that famous. But yeah, it looks creepy as piss, and I want to play it, but I don't think my computer can run it. <laughs> I love I love when these fuckers run at or when they jump at you you can just throw them. Oh, fuck. Bad timing. Oh, so much bad timing on my part. Oh, he charges at you if you pull a gun on him. Got it. That makes sense. That's a reasonable strategy to have. As a big scary murder man. Whoop. Steal a gaming laptop. It's a valid tactic. Well, if, if Ricky, if you say it's valid, I mean, that'll hold up in court, right? Oh, he's not that weak to a shiv. Shit. Fuck. Wow. Shooting him is a bad plan. I need to abandon that idea. Out of ships. <laughs> Fuck. Hey, hello, sir. Just pirate a full gaming laptop on Pirate Bay. That'll work. That's a good trick. You wouldn't download a car. This guy's not so bad. Top dogs, now that I know how to fight them, aren't so bad. The fact that he had a war crier was scary, though. Oh, yeah. You're going down, big boy. Oop, there it is. Nighty night. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck your couch. Just become God and create matter. Just get yourself a 3D printer and make one. I'm going to a 3D printing class tomorrow. I'm really excited. I killed that top dog. Now I have to kill Bottom Cat. Ooh, I missed an insignia and a bunch of scrap. Mm, sorry, fellows. Ooh, what's the new body color I got? I hope it's gold. If it's gold, I'm going gold immediately. Done. Now to get a bait on that thing in the silo. 
What's my new car color? Let's check it out. Ooh, and other new stuff too. Ugh. Oh, that's the car body. Doy. <gasps> Black tie. Ah, camouflage. <laughs> no, th I mean, that's kind of sweet, actually. But, no. We'll stick with chrome. I was hoping for gold, baby. Yeah, I'm taking a, I'm taking uh, a 3D printer class tomorrow, and uh, I'm really excited. There are these things called maker shops, and uh, there's Ricky. There's probably some in your area um, where they're just like a they're just like a big shop, they, and they do like woodworking and metalworking, and then different computer stuff, like fabrication stuff. And you can just you can get a membership and just go there and use all these tools, or you can take classes. So I'm taking that class tomorrow and then next week i'm taking a class in vector graphics for a program called inkscape but uh, yeah there's a maker shop right here uh in ann arbor and i'm super psyched about it i'm also super psyched about new exhaust fuck yes baby need that is sick more boost yeah! Gots to have it. Gots to have it. Quad nitro boost. Oh, this is a, a bad, beautiful machine. Right. Let's see. Oh, ooh, he had a lot of scrap. Damn. That's good. Um, it's a class because in order to go in and use the 3D printer, you have to, like, they have to know you're familiar with the, with the tools first. You can't just go in there and start fucking with it. Um, it's, it's not, it's just one session. It's like an hour. Um, and I've never done, I've never done any 3D printing stuff at all. So I'm excited to, uh, get in there and look at it. And, and mess with it. It's cool though. If if you're interested in in any of that stuff, you should look up. Um, yeah, they're called like maker shops, or there's another there's another phrase for it. But yeah, it's it's a really it's a really cool thing. I'm really glad they exist. I'm also going to start volunteering for with a uh, there's like a, a kids creative writing and, and tutoring program in Ann Arbor that I'm, I'm going to start volunteering for, and I'm really excited about that, too. The cool part about that, they're, and the, they have a location in Detroit, too. Um, what I really dig about that is uh, that they're, they're, the, they're themed around robots, so, like, they're, they have a storefront, and it's, it's the robot repair shop, and there's all these cool little robot doodads you can get. Yeah, <laughs> can I just... Like three different hundred dollar bills and stacks. Yeah, I mean that's the plan, Rickio. Oh, shh, don't tell anybody. All right. So the the intel said there was a zip line I could use to exit, but I'm not not seeing it. Was that it over there? Actually, what's this dot? There's still a dot. Oh, I need to reach the silo. Okay. Okay. Interesting. I've never had stuff to do after killing a top dog before. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Here's some shit I missed. Or just didn't get to yet. Maybe. Oh, yes. Oh, these scrappy do's. And scrappy don'ts. I mean, yeah. 3D printing is kind of like... Uh, kind of wild territory, right? You can 3D print a gun. <laughs> so, that's a little it's a little a little dangerous. We'll see. I think it's still I think right now it's still in early enough stages that it's not a totally weird and dangerous clusterfuck yet. But I mean, I'm sure it could get there. <laughs> like we shall see. It just seems like it just seems like the future to me though. Like I would love to work with that in some capacity. 
Ah, yes. Oh, 100% baby. 100% baby. Time to zip line. Shaka bra. Ooh, more stuff. Ooh, the dribble dome. <laughs> uh oh. It's not so whimsical as it seems. your dome you can you can print a gun oh oh I'm sorry I forgot Cloverfield Paradox invented printing a gun even though that's a real thing that first happened like three years ago but yeah you're right Cloverfield Paradox is the king of 3d printing so sorry Riccio because every as we all know every single thing in Cloverfield Paradox was nonfiction <laughs> Just fucking with you. Just fucking with you. Just goofing. All oh, the scrap. What is, is this considered a? Is this considered like a loot point or? Including the monster, yeah. The the billion foot tall monster. And the magic arm that just flops around. And right stuff. What's going hey, Ricky, what's going on with Cloverfield as a franchise? Is there What's going on with the fourth movie? I've been hearing I've been hearing directly conflicting reports. I've heard that the fourth movie has nothing to do with Cloverfield, and I've also heard that it is a direct sequel to the first Cloverfield movie. Fun fact, Clovey was a fictional thing in 2008, but since Cloverfield Paradox came out, guess what? Fun fact, a real thing. I always loved that, um, I mean, that's true, that's just a statement of fact. I loved that uh, 30 Rock referenced Cloverfield. Like, they were talking about just the dangers of living in New York, and one of them, one of them totally deadpans as Cloverfield monsters. I've been avoiding news as best as I can because what is the fucking point? Yeah, right. It's just it's just nonsense. Like I I I'm fine with I'm fine with Cloverfield as an anthology series. I think that's fine. I don't need like I think maybe I'm the only person in the galaxy or at least in in the fan circle, in the giant monster like fan community. I think I'm the only person who saw Cloverfield one and went Oh, that was a complete story. We're all set. Every It seems like every other motherfucker is like, No, I need to know what happens next. Exactly what happens next. And it's like, no, it's, it's done, man. We did it. What do they want me to do now? Get to the roof and call for Pink Eye. Okay. So I, I do need to get to the roof. How do I do this? Use leather. Come on. Come on, baby. Ah, here we go. On the catwalk. Max's life is just a right, right said Fred song from top to bottom. Ah, oh, yeah. Story mission completed. I've got Turn a to pink to collect. It's not a very well orchestrated anthology, though, is it? Like, the individual stories are fine. Except Cloverfield not in Kentucky anymore. But this attempt to tie in every story to the first film is getting tiresome. Yeah, I wish they would have just stayed... Just purely stay in anthology. Just be a, a series of... Of, um... Unconnected sci-fi horror stories. Nothing wrong with that. Like, yeah, that that never was a problem to me, especially after how fucking good Ten Cloverfield Lane was. That was crazy, stupid good. And I and Cloverfield Paradox was fun. I liked it, but 
But yeah, t- but then it's it almost reminds me of Prometheus, where all the original shit in Prometheus I thought was pretty cool. It's when they tried to connect it to Alien that I'm like, ugh, don't care. And kind of the same thing with with Cloverfield Paradox. The original stuff was cool. I I don't need I don't need it to tie into the original Cloverfield monster. That to me was a, a complete story. We got it. You are truly a legend now, Saint. Ooh. Oh, I could give them more. Alright, yeah. Oh, God, that's so much scrap to burn on just helping these guys, but I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. I not think I'm fucking doing it. It just happened. Yeah, that's right. It helped your stronghold to grow, pink eye. So quit giving me so much stink eye. Alright. Hell yeah. Ooh. You are yeah, you're welcome. Warriors. Ooh, now I have a lot what of Griffith tokens. I'm gonna have to go talk to him soon. Guess he is a legendary sign. Oh, you didn't even give me a chance to answer. I would love some mac and cheese. Mac and cheese is excellent. That is a, a perfect comfort food. What was I going to look up? Oh, shit. I was going to look something up. Oh, well. Oh, I was going to look up how high Max can actually level up. I'm... Oh, oh, there's a whole... Okay. There's a whole tier yet. I'm still just a blessed wanderer for a little while longer. I'm glad Road Warrior is the top tier. That is that is fitting and awesome. Alright. How do I get up and talk to you, Pink Eye? Mm, pink Eye. Here we go. Here we go. Pay my respect, road warrior. That's right. I give you guys enough scrap and you'll be nice to me. We got the sale. It'll come to good use. Still sounds like a fool's errand to me. So is doing nothing. We cannot all give up and just wait to die. Now for my end, your righteous reward. History relic. Rotate. I'll find these landmarks. I'll find the loot. Oh, getting that getting that V6, getting close to that V6, baby. Not ready to set sail just yet. Alright, well. That place has a new mission for me. That highway. Must be to the north. The wind catcher. What would is be a riot, Riccio? They soon set sail. They'll run dry out there. Perhaps, but the sail has another benefit. all the David Cage games on stream. I don't even know who David drinking. Cage is. But food remains a problem. I know an undiscovered place of the old world, full of tin cans. What? More food than you and I could ever eat. Food? It's got, they got to make need, it a Twinkie factory. And you get all that remains. What do you think? Deal? Deal. Cool. Pink Eye needs food provisions for the upcoming journey. She has revealed how to find a location where rumor, rumored food rations are kept. Find the location and secure the food for Pink Eye. Maggot Farm. Yikes. Creator of Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. Oh, um, I'm interested in Heavy Rain, for sure. Less so Two Souls. Um, because I loved, I loved, uh, what was it called? Before Dawn? Yeah. Before Dawn was great, and I wanted to stream it on here, but, um, Sony won't let you stream it and have comments. And that's like my bread and butter, like, it's is being able to interact with, with viewers. That's that what my stream is all about. And so I said, fuck it, let's 
We I, actually, if you if you look back through the old uh, the old videos, there is one one episode we did that was before dawn. Both are absolute garbage, but they are so fucking fun to rip on. Oh, they're like shitty. Oh, I liked I liked before dawn. But I guess maybe that's keying into my my slasher love. If I could find them cheap, I would. For sure. Um, yeah. I am going to take a quick bio break, and then I will be right back. So yeah, be back in about five minutes, guys. Don't go anywhere, please. Or do. It's fine. It's your life. <laughs> 